After a mural sparked a heated debate, an artist found himself trying to protect it from vandals and then from the county that commissioned him to do the work in the first place. News 13's Lizay Mitri has the video. This guy's a hero, you know? So this is a beautiful story you know of courage. You know Artist Glenn Strock is defending his work. This is Glenn Strock at the mural. First, critics called for its removal, saying it glorified violence against Native people. Then, vandals struck. And News 13 went to the Santa Fe County Human Resource Building today to watch Strzok repair it when someone else wanted to cover it up. They got to do their job. Well, I'm going to do my job, too. too. Right. So I'll be painting on the mural while they're trying to paint over it. No, you, you, that's, that's my job. The county, the same entity that hired Strzok to do the work, wanted to paint over it. What section of the mural have they decided? Do you know? With the horse and the guy and the sword. They're the heroes of Strzok's story at the center of what Strzok says is a misunderstanding. This is the governor of New Mexico. It's Governor Tomas Cachupin, a man of peace, as shown by the lowered sword and kind face, Strzok says. I don't see how uh, taking county employees uh, after a vandal comes and tries to cover the truth to then de decide autocratically to come and do what the vandals have done. The county, only responding by email, said it wanted to clean the vandalism and reevaluate the design. But Strzok, ready to be arrested if necessary, blocked the mural and lobbied on the phone until. What's happening now? We're gone. We're leaving. You're not going to paint it. Praise God. In Santa Fe, Lizay Mitri. Yeah, you guys. KRQE News 13. We'll keep you updated on that story. The artist says there will be a community meeting on Monday night at 530 at the Santa Fe Art Institute to discuss that mural.